This is lunch for Nosy and Grumpy Mate, two big uh, adult boa, strict, boa constrictor accidentalis. Uh, they eat two of these a month. Each one of them, every two weeks, they eat a colossal. They're really large, huge. I used to raise them and breed them, but I couldn't deal with killing the animals to feed my snakes, and now all I do is order frozen thaw. And yep, these are the colossals, nosy and grumpy are getting ready to eat. This is the picture window behind their upper floor here. Are you hot pissing at me? I'm sorry. But, uh, you should just give me a warning. But during the spring and summer, they go outdoors and play out there. There's a door down here in the back that they can go through to go out there. I unlock it and they go in out when they want to in warm weather. It works out great. They have some freedom. They get some exercise and they get to play in their pool out there. So it was worth all the work. I'm very proud of both of them. Very good tempered snakes for being so huge. Yeah, we're good snakes. Yes, we are. Won't your belly scratch? Just scratch your belly. And do your belly. Or do your belly. Yeah. Rub your belly. That feel good. Nosy likes her belly rub. Yeah, you feel good. Yeah. Okay. And put it back down. Put it down. You want to eat? You got to come off of there. I can't feed you while you're above me. Nope. I don't allow snakes to strike down toward me, so you're going to come down off there, Grumpy. Get down off your perch. Come on down. Trap door's locked shut. Nosey's on the bottom level. If you want to eat, you're going to come off. You're going to have to get down. Get off your perch. Come on down. Come down if you want to eat. Come on. Down here. Bring it down. You know I won't feed you while you're up there. It's not a good idea to have a snake above you striking down toward a food item with the door open because you can get nailed really easy like that. You need to come down if you're gonna eat. When you get off your perch, I'll feed you. Bungee cord's just done here because the bolts are, and locks are undone. Is it feeding aggression? Nah. That's what you have to be concerned about with big constrictors. It's dinner day and he knows it. But the bungee cord's just on here so I can quickly open and close the door. It has, it's a steel door and it has steel rods that go across it, but I don't have to use them when I'm feeding because they don't go anywhere. They sit and wait. Feed you when you come down. How's that feeding aggression working out? Both of them. Heads popping. This is when you have to be concerned with them. Because they have one thing on their mind. Eat. And anything warm that crosses their path is food. <laughs> so, you have to be very careful. Yeah, Grumpy's up here. You gotta come down if you wanna eat, dude. Nosy's downstairs, patiently waiting for hers. Yeah, but they separate on their own when they're ready to eat. I close the trap door and lock it so they're fed independently. Last thing you want is two snakes fighting over one food item. Oh yeah, grumpy's up here. When you come down, you can eat.
You can't play with them today, Deeper. They're all eating today. You stop your whining. No, can't play with the snakes today. Everybody's eating. No, you're not playing with them today. They're all eating. Quit your whining. This is what I go through when my cat can't play with one of my snakes. I'm feeding them all today and she's having a fit because I'm not taking them out for her to play with. And Grumpy's about done with his colossal. And I give him a couple hours to cool down. Knows he's on the bottom devouring hers. The biggest of the two rats, but yeah, give them a couple hours to calm down, and then I'll open the trap door, and then they can go back up and hang out together. It's a beautiful day, though, so they're going to be begging to go outdoors more than likely. But I don't open up their outdoor enclosure until we get really consistent warm weather, because it's too much of a hassle to go outside and open the outside door and force them back in at night to lock the door up. So it's easier just to wait until it's really nice enough out that they can sleep out there if they want to. There's a grump. The only time your mouth isn't running is when you got food in it, for heaven's sake. He's a talker. There you go. Once in a while, I get to catch them rehinging their jaws. But they each get one colossal each every two weeks. Sometimes they get two every two weeks. Depends on their feeding aggression. You can tell if they're still looking for more. So was that good dinner? We take hook your face on. Your face is crooked. Your face is on sideways. Reange, you look silly. nosy. She's right over top of Grumpy. You're smashing your boyfriend. Yes you are. Look at that stubby tail. Look at that stubby tail. They've been up on the top floor basking in the sun all day. She's got her head through the trap door. She thinks she's eating today, which she is not. She's eating tomorrow. But when they're ready to eat this split up, one will go to the bottom floor and stay there and the other one will stay up on the top floor until I feed them. Yeah. There's tail tip. Red nosy tail. Ha. Huh. Yeah. Pretty girl. Yes, she is. Beautiful girl. This is grumpy under her right here. You see he's a lot more black and white than she is. Okay. No, I'm not feeding you today. Get your head up through there. Hey. Hey. I'm not feeding you today. No, you're not eating today. Look at that stubby tail. Look at that stubby tail, nosy. So you better quit bothering me. This is nosy. Grumpy's behind her. There's his tail back there. That's Grumpy. 
You nosy. You can put it back down. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, it's nosy. That real dark black and white's grumpy. Beautiful animals. Just nosy. That's stubby tail. Hey, stubby tail. Yeah. Good kids. Good kids. Yeah, they are. Love them to death. Ten years old. My big babies. Oh, my big babies. They definitely take more than one person to handle. Sometimes three, depending on the mood they're in. But yeah, they get to go outdoors in the yard too, but most of the time they just go outside in their 13-foot glass enclosure. This has got a swimming pool and it's got a sprinkler in it. Right now they can't go out because it's not warm enough out. And I'm going to be laying down some new carpet in it. And I got to take the roof panes down and clean them up, get the leaves off of it and wash them and lock them back up on top. That's a lot of work, a lot of exercise.